What's going on guys, The Lion is here. Today we're checking out a game called 50 Years. It was released just recently, uh, went from early access to the full release. Uh, it is a turn-based strategy game and it's currently on Steam for four euros. It's actually on sale. Uh, normally it's five euros. So I'm just gonna start a new game. I don't know too much about it. I know it has a uh, Steam Workshop, which is always very nice. Uh, so we're just gonna check it out. I am very much into turn-based strategy, so I'm hoping that I like it. Uh, alright, so... Alright, apparently you choose a faction, um, who to play as. So the Americans get an extra 100 gold. Uh, the British. Each forester's hut gives extra wood and faith per year. Uh, lumber mills penalty to gold production is capped at 50. Uh, the Greeks, they start the game with a minotaur's maze. They can hire minotaurs for food. Big hydra splits into three mini hydras. Uh, the Russians, Japanese, French, Celts, Romans, there's a lot. There's a lot. I kind of like the idea of the um, the Greeks though, so I'm just going to play as them. And here we go. So, alright. Year one, apparently there is not much of a tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so we have a thousand gold, we have one uh, wood. Or food, not wood. Uh, alright, so... Does that say one or is it like a hundred or... I don't even know. So you can hire... Peasants mine 100 gold per year. Alright, I'll actually get some peasants then. And I'll guess I'll hire a swordsman? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, in terms of scouting... Apparently we haven't done any of that. And there are a bunch of buildings that you can make. Alright, so let's end the year. I guess that is a turn. You are attacked. Alright, um... Attacker's list. We're going up against a militia man and we have a... Oh, we have our own... No, wait, we're the swordsmen, so we actually have the advantage. All right, fight. Here they go. Yeah, we'll win this easy. All right, we get 10 faith points. We didn't lose anything, so I'd say that was uh, pretty good. Uh, we are, however, all right, so we got 10 faith. We got a little bit of food. I don't know what that does. Is that like an upgrade or... I have no clue. Uh, there's absolutely nothing that I can do. Even the cheapest of buildings are, are too expensive right now. But we start out with a Minotaur Maze. Alright, so I guess that's there's nothing we can do, so end it. Alright, so now we have 400 gold. I guess we're just gonna build up peasants so that we can gain more cash every year. I am honestly not too sure what the end game is here. All right, one more uh, militia man. Go ahead. We already know how this ends. Boom. All right. Uh, 600 gold. Yeah, I, I definitely think that we don't need more uh, swordsmen. I'll actually grab a forester's hut for extra food and a bit extra gold, and then we could actually get another one soon. Allow archers to be hired. I like the sound of that, but I think we should really focus on getting more gold. Isn't that usually what you do in these games? So end it. Okay, just just go. Still just one militia man and he's not gonna be close to beating us. Alright, here we go. I have no clue what to even use the faith for. Is there a church? Here we go. Right, so that actually gives you more uh, faith. Oh, their training costs faith. So once you get a monastery, a church and a monastery, you can actually use your faith to... Okay. Uh, get certain... Uh, units. So, alright, I'll grab another peasant. End it. Alright, so what we can do is we can actually get... Stables required. Anything that will get me, uh, gold would be, uh, awesome. I will actually get... okay. Oh, we need a hundred wood. How do we get wood? Lumber mail. All right, we need more peasants though for that to work. All right, now it's swordsman versus swordsman. This actually has the potential to be bad, so I am going to call on, on a militia man. Okay, let's hope that he survives. We got the upper hand here. Oh, it's close, but we win. All right, so your scouts have discovered the chicken devil's altar. Banish the Devil. Chicken Devil will give you a scroll transformation, but he will take your soul. All units in the enemy's army turn into a zombie chickens. Alright. 
Chicken Devil will kill a random enemy unit before each battle starts, but the Devil will take your soul later. Or we can banish him. I guess we'll just leave him for now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, not enough food. Right, so we're at our limit for food, so we need to build more farms. Which a, uh, sure, chicken farm would do the trick. We are gonna need more swordsmen. Actually, I'm gonna grab the second swordsman while we're here. Den was found. Zombie chicken's graveyard. There's 12. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. So they do very little damage. They don't have a lot of health. I have two swordsmen. I think I might be able to do it. I'm actually gonna go after that when I have my uh, third. Actually, let's do that. Boom. Swordsmen. We'll go to that lair and fight. We should be able to take him out pretty easily. But getting a third swordsman was definitely a good idea because this way we have no casualties whatsoever. And we get a chicken as a reward. Which I don't know what that does. But I'm sure it's good. It's pr it looks like- oh wait. Whoa, we got two chicken farms. That's a lot of food. Alright, good. Oh no. Alright, go. We do have the uh, the upper hand uh, yet again. Oh, we didn't heal, did we? Or we did. Okay, so we lost the swordsman. That sucks. I don't even know who we're fighting here. Choose belief. Okay, so you get to. Okay. Uh, let's see. At the beginning of the battle, two random units in the army get extra life and extra food from uh, chicken farms. Uh, peasants mine more gold. Three forest huts appear for free. Two swordsmen join to the army immediately, and militiamen have more, uh, life, and then the last two killed units will be revived after each battle. Actually, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna grab that. That's a really good one. I'm gonna grab another peasant. And I'm going to construct nothing, because we need wood. We need more peasants. Oh, no. Oh, it's just one. Alright, go. And we don't have to be as careful now, since we, uh, we revive, um, people that die. At least for a little bit. So, alright, finally let's get our lumber mail. Uh, so we'll get less gold from our peasants, that's for sure. But we start making, uh, wood now, which is very nice. So, boom. And now we can make a shooting ground, and start hiring archers. Let's see. Alright, let's just get one more peasant, and we'll be at our limit. And then we really need to construct things like uh, another town hall for more peasants and barracks for more swordsmen. Possibly a church uh, soon. Alright, let's see. So we have 280 gold, so let's hire an archer. That is our limit for food, however. Uh, let's grab a town hall so we can hire more peasants and the year. Oh my god, alright. They have more. Let's get one militiaman in there just for good measure and let's see what we can do. Got a pretty bad feeling about this. But I think we might be alright. Alright, so we lost two swordsmen, but they're, you know, resurrected, so we're good. Uh, that does mean, however, that clearly things are getting more dangerous. Not enough food. We need some way of getting food. I guess the best way to do that would be to get either a forester's hut or a um, chicken farm. So let's do that. Grab that archer that we need. So you basically build up your army as you go. Right, not enough gold. Yeah, we need a... Uh, barracks too. Alright, so let's, let's get the last swordsman then. And a peasant. But we need to at the town hall pretty soon. So let's grab a forester's hut. Actually, let's get as many of those as we can, which is two. Uh, which means more gold. Alright, get another archer. Whoa, look at my army, man. They don't stand a chance. Go, archers, go. Strike them down. Oh, okay, obliterate it right there. We got some pretty good faith coming in, too, because of that. Alright, so... What we need is a barrack, so I'll grab one. And then, I think we need to start, you know, working on our faith a bit. So we can improve our religion, whatever. I don't know how that works, but alright. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty one-sided battle. Alright, I'm down. See you guys. I mean, you tried. Boom. And here we go. So we can now choose a new belief. So you can actually keep working on what you had. 
Um, or you can, um... Choose something you would like. I think, like, right now, Legends of the Miners would be really nice. Five peasants can be hired without town halls, or just peasants mine more gold. I mean, that's a good one. So I'm grabbing it. Uh, Den was found. Foggy Swamp. Minotaur's area. Arena, actually. Alright, so there's a Hydra here. If all of your units die in the battle, the Hydra appears on your side. One time for, for game. All Hydras will disappear after the battle if you don't have a Hydra's Pond. Uh, there's three Minotaurs. I honestly have no clue how strong a Minotaur is, and I think we gotta be careful uh, with that, so... Not taking any chances there. Allows Druids to be hired. One Druid can live in the Oak. What I think we should do is probably save up and just grab that Minotaur. So I'm gonna grab... Not enough food. Already out of it again. Alright, get one of those. Uh, let's see. Actually, we need a lot more food for the Minotaur anyway. Alright. Uh, end it. Not much else. Actually, yeah, there's nothing else I can do right now. Go. Whoa, what's this guy? I didn't even realize he was different somehow. Oh, boy. Alright, I don't know what he was, but... A knight. Alright, so it looks like our enemy, whoever it is, already has knights. I guess that might be the eventual goal of the game, is to discover everything, and eventually... take out your enemy's stronghold or whatever. Uh, alright. Let's see, we need food for the Minotaur, so I'll do that, and I'll do that, and I'll do... that, and that's all the... Here we go. So, let's not hire anything else. Fight, just finish this. There's another knight, but we still have, you know, great numbers. Yeah, look at that. Not a chance. So, I want my Minotaur, finally. Boom. Wait, what? Oh, to upgrade him costs 10 food. To hire one is just one food. Alright, so it's just really expensive in terms of, um... Gold and stuff, but not so much in terms of food right now. Alright, so we're good. End it. Uh, let's see. We could get a shooting ground. We could get more archers. So that's obviously a good idea. Not to mention, shooting grounds only cost wood, so we're okay there. Stable, maybe. Allows knights to be hired. Sure, do that. Fight. Look at my army. It's so big. That's my Minotaur. That's a strong boy. There we go. And it's time for our next belief. Plus 10 gold per year for each unit is actually really nice. And extra food, I'll take that. Absolutely. The half. I don't know what that means. Does that mean that we're at like the end of the, the half of the game? Looks like you might have to survive for 50 years or something. The game's called 50 years. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Alright, get a knight, get an archer. Let's uh, go take out the minotaurs, I think. Like, we should be ready to do this now. Like, I've built up a really nice and big army. Oh, Jesus Christ. These things are a lot stronger than I, uh, I realized. That's bad. We got two swordsmen back, but we still lose three swordsmen and a knight. Alright. No matter, like, we, we still did it. You know, that's good. We just need to rebuild our army now. Oh, boy. Two Minotaurs. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Alright, we're good. We resurrected everything that died. Uh, plus one to damage for all units in the army. Two random units in the army get extra life, which is actually pretty good, but I like... Two swordsmen join the army immediately. Militiamen have more life. Let's just, let's go with more attack th um, stuff. Build up the army a bit better. Uh, that'll do it. There we go. Alright. Are you serious? Okay. Right back to it. Uh, I do think that we might want more... Let's see. Uh, more... Paladin training. Uh, more Minotaurs. It's just that is incredibly expensive, but okay. Cow shed is plus one food per year, so it's really not that good. What is even the point of making it? If the chicken farm is literally always going to be better. Wait, plus one food per year, so you're... Wait, let me get one. 
Oh, that's actually really, really good. Okay, I was wrong. Once again. All right, so let's grab a, another knight. Fight. Three swordsmen. I mean, what even... Are you serious right now? All right, let's see. So that we, we still have a hydra, that which we're supposed to be fighting, but I'm super worried about that. Let's grab another knight. Do that. Here we go. Fight. Like, our army's actually starting to grow pretty impressive. I just don't know how much damage a Hydra would do. And I am worried about that. 100 faith per year. I kind of do want a monastery, but... Alright, I think we should just grab a bunch more peasants for now. I haven't done that in a while. Alright, fight. Five swordsmen. No chance. None. Alright, so we got 20 peasants now. We got six out of six archers. Like, we got pretty much the most impressive army that we could, um... Currently have. Like, I do want to go after the Hydra. Uh, thing is, like, I'm pretty sure I have to... Have a Hydra Pond... To... Hire it, but I could be wrong there. All right, I'm actually just gonna save up for that hydro pond. Oh, this could be dangerous. Don't don't let me lose too many guys, please. Did I lose nothing? I lost nothing. Uh, all right, all right. Fight! Oh, Jesus Christ! This is the first big battle that we're seeing. Uh, it looks like because I'm probably because I'm playing on normal, I get a little bit of a uh, a lag up on the enemy. What did I lose? One or two? Oh, okay. Yeah, I lost a bit, which uh, sucks. The cost of swordsmen is reduced by 100 gold. If you lose the battle, half of the peasants automatically goes into the militia and appears on the battlefield. Five peasants can be hired without town halls, which is pretty good. Uh, three foresters' huts appear for free. Extra wood per year from lumber mills. All of this is like pretty good. I'll go for that one though. Uh, Alright, so let's build a Hydra Pond. Right, so we can now hire a Hydra for 3,600. Alright, if we survive this battle, then we can actually hire a Hydra. And uh, our army should be really strong at that point. We're going to lose a lot of dudes here, though. We need to rebuild before we do anything else. What do we lose? Oh, boy. Could be worse, could be a lot better. Get a Hydra. Definitely. Den was found. Oh my. Right, so there's like really, really dangerous stuff in there. I really would prefer not to go in there. Uh, grab a knight, grab a bunch of swordsmen. Alright, so we've rebuilt the army. It's better than ever. That was pretty quick. Let's, uh... All they have is a hydra, right? So like... Why well, don't just go for it? I wish I could replace stuff so it would just be Hydra versus Hydra with the archers, but uh, slightly the strategy does not go up to that level. But we're okay. Little baby Hydra, boom. If all your units die in the battle, the Hydra appears on your side once. All right. So I, what I think we should do is really just go for the next battle. But I don't know if we need to heal or anything. Sure. Like, what we need is a town hall, too. Or maybe a stable. Let's get more knights. Knights are good. And then... Alright, town hall. For those peasants. Alright. Oh, God. What? How am I ever supposed to win this? Call every militia man that we currently have available. Here we go. This is gonna be a massive battle. Jesus Christ, what happened? Looks like this actually might be the end for us. Things are not looking good. I mean, sure, we got Militia Man for backup, but those are basically worthless. As you can see right now. It's gonna be close. The Hydra is gonna make a difference, maybe. Nah, we're not gonna win. There's no way. There's no way. Like I said, we're gonna get close, but we'll lose in the end. Actually, no, we win. Okay. 
That was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. All right, um, make swordsman cheaper because I have a lot that I need to buy. That was horrible. So the closer you get to the end of the game, the uh, the bigger the chance of you dying. All right. So, okay, you really need to sort of fine tune your strategy if you're going to be, uh, all right. This will be a tough year. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't, don't even tell me that. I lost like all of my peasants. This is basically the end of it. Like, it is impossible. What? It is impossible to, uh, to still like, get back from, from, from all that, you know? Look at all these little baby worms though. That's pretty cool. Well, that's the end of it. Sorry, Archer, you're dead. Oh boy. Yep, that wasn't very, uh, there goes our, our fair village. So that is how, how it works. Uh, that is uh, the game 50 years. You're supposed to survive for 50 years. That was actually a pretty short run, so it takes about 20 minutes if you suck like, uh, like I do. And then apparently there are other special games that you can play with different modifiers. Uh, like I said, it's only 4 euros on Steam, 5 euros when it's not on sale. Uh, I have to say it's actually a pretty enjoyable game and I will probably give it another go by myself because it's kind of fun. So if you would like to see more of this game, let me know. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.